if I apply graduate diploma in professional accountant in Auckland, gets one or two years post study work visa because I'm confused about additional year for those pursuing towards professional body. If you're coming before, I don't think you're coming before 26 November. So obviously, uh, the new rules will apply to you. So what's going to happen is if you're going to come and study in uh, Auckland, you are going to get one year. But if you're going to work towards registration with the professional body, and if you're going to do a course in professional accounting and you're going to work for uh, a registration towards uh, NZICA or one of those other professional industry bodies, which is has to be recognized by the Immigration Department of New Zealand. So it just can't be some, like for instance, I have a lot of certificates here on my wall and some of them are my memberships from different professional bodies, but all of them are not recognized uh, by uh, Immigration New Zealand as bodies relevant to the migration side of things. So uh, I, I think you need to have a chat with our team, uh, Lama. Uh, maybe if I were you, uh, I would remove that uncertainty out of one year or two year uh, post study work visa by opting to do a course outside Auckland because that's very clearly now mentioned in the new rules uh, that's about to change, which is that, that if you're going to do a graduate diploma outside Auckland, then you're getting an additional uh, one year. So you're assured of getting a two years post study work visa. So if your concern is, will I get a two years post study work visa, then why do you want to study in Auckland then? You know, have that. Uh, doubt at the, uh, at the back of your head all the time while you're studying but because that professional body may or may not be recognized by immigration New Zealand. So it's a, it's a slightly messy situation. My advice to you, just uh, do the same course but study it outside Auckland.